Well, he's a Cleveland Cavs center whom the city welcomed with open arms after years of playing for the L.A. Lakers and Miami Heat. Shaquille O'Neal is one of the best on the court, but much of his success can be attributed to his mother, Lucille O'Neal. She's written a book about her incredible life, and Lucille O'Neal joins us right now. Good to have you with us, Lucille Thank you, Leon. I'm glad to be oh, here today. Yeah. Just a wonderful, wonderful book. I've looked at it for the last uh, last day or two. And uh, 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 first off, welcome to Cleveland. Thank you. And, and, and glad to have your son here, too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you call the book Walk Like You Have Somewhere to Go. Yes. Where did you get the idea for that title? When I was a young girl working in a church, I had a woman pastor, and she used to assign me to a lot of jobs that I didn't want to do, mm -hmm. like Sunday school secretary, yeah. speaking up in front of the crowd. I, because I was tall, I didn't want to be in front of people. Mm -hmm. But every time she would call me, I'd take my time coming to her, and she would say, Lucille, walk like you have somewhere to go. That means walk with some de devotion and dedication Courage. and some, some purpose in your life. Absolutely. Yeah. In, your, in, in, your, in your book, I notice at the beginning of every chapter, there's yes. a Bible verse. Yes. Why? That's because that's the way that I start my day. Mm -hmm. A daily word, it gives me something to meditate on. And when I was away from home, my mother used to always call me and always end our conversation with the Bible verse. Mm -hmm. So I've been studying the Bible do you from think, all that time. Do you think a lot of us miss the point because we don't stay close? close to, to, to scriptures, whatever religion it is. You, you think a lot of us miss the point in life? Well, I know for me, it helps me throughout the day. It gives me something to meditate on and something to really build up mm -hmm. my courage. And when I have something positive to think about, it helps me throughout the day. I have a favorite scripture that's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Mm -hmm. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and yeah. lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. I will bet if you are the mother I know you to be. You have told that to that son of yours. Yes, I that have. That seven foot son of yours, you have told him trust in the Lord, right? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. All and of my children. Mm -hmm. We call him Shaq now. Well, what, what, what does Lucille O'Neal call her son? I call him Shaquille. All the time. All huh? the time. Do you ever have to, do you ever make a phone call to him and say, Shaquille, I, I, I need to talk to you about this. You ever say that? You still, you still talk to him mother to son? I still call him Shaquille. I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> I've got some photographs here. We've got pictures right here. Tell us about some of the pictures that we have right here we're seeing. This is a picture of my eighth grade graduating class. That's mm -hmm. a picture of my beautiful mother. That's my father. And that is Shaquille, That's young Shaquille when he was about right three months old. Uh -huh. That's Shaquille when he was about seven sitting on my lap. Yeah. And that's me, fresh out of high school. And that's me when I was about five. What do you want us to to? And congratulations, you guys! I see the the cap and gown there. You just got you just got a master's degree from the University of Phoenix. Too. Yes, I did. Congratulations! Thank on you that. very we, much. We even had that on the air before we even knew you were coming here. <laughs> what do you want us to take away from when we read your book? Uh, Walk like you have somewhere to go. I would like for the readers to know that we all have a level of creativity that God has blessed us with. We all have a certain level of courage, and we should dig deep down inside and look within ourselves for our own happiness instead of dependent on anyone else to make us happy and that each day is a good day and if we would just strive to look forward the dreams that we have can one day be manifested and just continue to look for your future to be bright